I've never gotten surgery before. She said I might throw up. I'm not gonna lie, yesterday was really rough. Every single pill, every single vitamin. Sometimes that can come back and bite you in the butt. I couldn't even get up and like shower. I'm just so frustrated. It just looked awful. Now I'm just worried, worried, worried. It's 9.43, Monday, November 7th. Um, my rhinoplasty was booked for the 9th, but they called me today and said that they would be able to move my appointment up to tomorrow. So I'm getting my rhinoplasty tomorrow. Uh, I feel really excited. I also feel a little bit nervous, but it's not really nervous that like, something could go wrong. It's more nervous about how uncomfortable I'm going to be after the surgery. I hate breathing out of my mouth, <laughs> but that's the only part that really scares me. Really, really chapped lips. But yeah, I ordered a car for tomorrow morning that will take us straight there. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited. I've been having a blast in Turkey so far. We've just been walking around the city like seeing so many different things um, and I can't wait to keep doing that. I have to be at the hospital at 7 a.m. Um, and it's about a half an hour drive from here. I need to be up before 6.30 so that I can be in the car by 6.30. But I'm packing my bag with the things that I know I'm gonna need. My essentials and my pajamas and my clothes for tomorrow. And I need to make that slideshow of exactly what I want my nose to look like so I can show my doctor. I almost forgot about that part. That's very important. You're kind of sleepy. Let me go do that and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Hello, I know this is not pretty at all. Obviously, I've had the surgery. The doctor said it went really well. That's good to hear because I'm already feeling myself. <laughs> I looked at the mirror and was like, oh my god, it's cute already. And right now is a good time because there's a little swelling. So before the swelling kicks in, I can kind of see what it's gonna look like in the future. But I'm currently eating soup. Let's see, so I got in. She took my blood pressure, then she took my blood, which was like the nurse who did the needle. Well, he knew exactly what he was doing. Found it on the first time, only got one jab. And uh, the only thing that was painful was after because they kind of keep the needle inside you. It's kind of like a port of entry for other things. Then I had my, had a lecture. <laughs> Um, I guess like a lesson on uh, which medications to use and what time. Girl, when I say I am on every single pill, every single pill, every single vitamin, it's a lot. It's a lot to remember. So if you're forgetful like me, luckily she had me write them down with stickers, which was very smart so I could refer back to them. If your doctor or your assistant doesn't do that, I would recommend recording the conversation like with your phone so you could see and hear exactly what you need to do 
exactly when you need to do it and for exactly how long. After she did my blood work and after she explained like my stuff I met with the doctor, he basically told me what would be best with my face shape and lo and behold, it was exactly the shape that I wanted. Like it was the exact pictures. I wanted something in between like natural and not natural and he was like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, that's why I chose you. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really nice to hear that even before I could say anything because he already knew the assignment. After that, I had to take my nipple piercings out because like you're not allowed to have any kind of piercings anywhere into a freezing room where I was already shivering before they knocked me out. And that was that. Then I don't remember anything. I do remember thinking, please hurry up and knock me out because it is so cold in this room. I don't want to feel it anymore. After I came out of the surgery, I passed. Out. No, actually, after I came out of the surgery, apparently I was awake. My mom said that I asked her for a hat because I was cold. Bro, I don't remember anything. It's like blacked out. I can't believe I was like up and talking. I have absolutely no recollection. So after I woke up for real, three, four hours later, I did the salt water rinse. So you have to rinse in one nostril and it has to come out the other nostril. I cannot stand the feeling of water in my nose, which is why at my big age, I still plug my nose when I go swimming. It's a little bit jarring because everybody is speaking Turkish and there's always like three to four people in the room swirling around you like in a rush when you're like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand. <laughs> All the other vlogs I talked about people lost the feeling in their top lip but my top lip feels fine but yeah my nose my nose does hurt at the bottom down here i don't know if i have this too tight pain levels on like three everything else is pretty much fine i'm just moving really slow because they took a piece of rib cartilage i'll show you guys my gnarly scar after <laughs> i really just want liquid my throat is dry but not as dry as i thought it would be i thought it would be like sandpaper i put on extra chapstick before i got into the operation so that my lips wouldn't be chapped either because i knew my mouth would be open my lips feel moisturized and you guys would be so proud of me i took my pills i crushed them up and i like shot them back I'm really doing it. Just trying to do the best I can. Luckily, they tasted like nothing, but still, nobody likes to eat pills. But I'm currently eating soup that they gave me. It doesn't look too appetizing, but it's very flavorful. It's got like a creamy, cheesy mushroom taste. And I got my water bottle. My mom's gonna go refill my water for me. Bless her heart. I think I'm gonna be running her ragged for today and tomorrow. Cause right now I'm, I'm just moving so slow. I'm used to doing things quick. Like if I can't do it quick, I start getting impatient, especially with myself. Okay, I'm gonna go change the scars. Um, Cause I finished my soup. I was gonna change it before, but then I was like, what if I get it dirty? eater i could use another bowl of this actually i'm not really hungry it just tastes good i guess i'll see you tomorrow yeah, i'm okay i'll just have this this is what breakfast looks like Barfy. Bird food, <laughs> extremely healthy, but that's fine because I'm not hungry at all, but I feel like I should still eat something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they gave me a squeeze of lemon and a cube of sugar for my tea and I drank the whole thing already. Yeah, you don't need that. You don't need that tea. You don't need any <laughs> No, of that tea is so good. Turkish mm -hmm. tea is so good. My surgery was yesterday. I saw the pictures already. my god if it isn't everything i wanted anymore it looks so good it looks so natural excuse me while my nose is leaking but i just wanted to check in while i'm still in the hospital and while the details are still fresh because last night they came into the room i kid you not like at least 25 times to check my um to like hook up my arm thing and to make sure i was okay and yeah just run it would be like a minute of running in here doing something and then going out but it's enough to wake you up because you have to prop your arm up they said i'm good to go right now they said i could leave which is great um 
probably just gonna wait until someone comes and takes this out of my arm or I might just flag someone down because I'm so ready to get out of here I'm so tired my nose doesn't hurt but my rib is very sore and you don't really realize how much you use your rib <laughs> like you think you use all your abs when you stand up and sit down but your ribs are like mm, that was good <laughs> I'm showing me how jammy the egg is. I love that. You wanna say hi, mama? Hi. <laughs> Looking awesome. <laughs> my partner in crime over here. My good baby. I'm fine. I know. My nose, like, I, <laughs> I touched my nose, I can't even feel it. And the anesthesia wore off good too. She said I might throw up, which would probably be the worst with having your nose like this didn't throw up just woke up really groggy all I want to do is sleep which is fine I wanted to sleep yesterday I want to sleep today and then tomorrow I want to be back out on these turkey streets I'm ready to go mentally so yeah today's gonna to be a chill day I'll probably check back in with you guys after I'm back at the hotel but for now I'm gonna eat clean my nose wrap up my stuff because our stuff is everywhere we haven't checked into the hotel yet and get out of here Bye.
I'm not gonna lie, yesterday was really rough. Yesterday I couldn't even get up and like shower. I was just so weak. Um, but today is the first day I'm able to like care for myself, get up, shower, wash my face, like just do all the basic things um, besides take my pills and go back to sleep. But I feel like today I'm over the hill and it'll just keep getting better from here. I would say the worst thing so far to deal with is taking the pills, your nose constantly leaking. I can't feel anything on my nose except for my stitches. I'm clogged up, but that's because there's stuff in my nose. Um, the only thing that really hurts is my rib because they did have to take out some cartilage to use in my nose But I'm leaning towards stopping taking the painkillers because it's really not that bad and I brought some Advil I just don't want to be taking anything stronger than I have to mm, And that's about it. Yesterday I had some swelling, but it's gone down a lot So I can get back to doing my doll activities We're going out We're going out We're going out <laughs> a huge advocate for doing your research but sometimes and I do just mean sometimes that can come back and bite you in the butt because yesterday everything was going fine I was healing perfectly normally and today I woke up and my eyes were very puffy very swollen very red and it could just be because I didn't get a good night's sleep last night but I also did research and found another video from a girl that I was actually subscribed to before I even knew for sure that I was gonna go and do this and she had an allergic reaction to the tape that was put on underneath her cast and it first started with her eyes and then spread to her cheeks and then she had like pus in between the cast and her nose and it would like it just looked awful <laughs> so now i'm just worried that that might be happening to me and it's so strange because nothing's changed. Absolutely, I've been taking all my medication. The only thing I stopped taking was my painkillers because I'm not in that much pain anymore. I brought some of my own aspirin just to take just in case, but I haven't really been needing it. The only thing that I did different last night was stay up on my phone. So I have sent my doctor a message and we'll see what he says. But for now, I'm just going to try and take a little bit better care of myself. I'll definitely be going to bed early tonight.
as you guys can see my eyes are not better <laughs> they were better yesterday night when I woke up this morning they were worse than they were yesterday morning I suspect it has something to do with the way I'm sleeping I'm not sleeping elevated enough but that theory remains to be proven <sighs> I'm just so frustrated and annoyed because I feel like I'm missing out on things that I want to do. Like today I was supposed to go to the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque, but you only need to do one thing to see the sights and that's to see. And I can't go if I can't keep my eyes open. So today I'm just going to take it easy. We're going to stay home and we're going to relax. Although I hate that. I don't want to relax. I want to get out and I want to go see stuff and I want to go do stuff. But I just don't think I'll enjoy it as much today. Hopefully fix this sleeping situation tonight so that by tomorrow I can get back out there. Like it's, it would have been one thing to like get off the table and have swelling and have it go down gradually. Like I've seen so many other people's journey, but to be fine and then go to swelling after is like kind of annoying because I was already fine like why are we swelling later I'm just gonna sit and watch Netflix all day it's gonna be a very boring day unfortunately oh you know what? I'll probably ice my face and listen to my audiobook so that way I don't have to use my eyes I will talk to you guys later because I cannot keep my eyes open for this long it's actually very hard <laughs> it's not very hard but it's definitely like it's something that you do your whole life without having to think about and now I have to think about doing it and put effort into doing it it's just adding to the stress of like what my body's trying to do already Are you kidding me? Look at these boots. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Bye. Good morning. Today is the 15th and I feel like I haven't really been checking in and that's just because this has been really easy. Like I hate to be someone that's like, oh yeah, I didn't feel any pain at all, but I'm really out here living my best life, taking a taxi from here to there, exploring the sights because after the first couple days, I was good to go. Um, The only thing that bothers me is that my nose is clogged but if you've ever had a cold you already know what that feels like it's not the end of the world i for one would rather have my nose clogged than have a sore throat me and mom are getting ready to go out there's a palace that we want to go see these last couple days i've been putting on makeup like that's how good i feel just on my eyes i've been really leaning into the whole bruised eye look and doing um like darker eyes <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because I feel like I haven't really checked in since I was freaking out about my eyes. Uh, the swelling has definitely gone down and the redness is going down slowly. If you're doing this, I definitely suggest you sleep in the upright position. It sucks. And as a person who loves my eight hours, trust me, it's worth it. Just sleep sitting upright. I genuinely had no idea that the pillows were sinking so much over time. The only thing that really let me know was my eyes. <laughs> I also have nothing to compare this to because I've never gotten surgery before, but I'm thinking because I've never gotten surgery before, I should be like a big baby about it, right? Honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. Obviously, not every doctor is gonna do the same thing, but if you decide to go with my surgeon, you're gonna be fine. I'm gonna use contour for my eyes. I feel like it really hides the bruised look. I like how this turned into a makeup tutorial. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use um, my blush in the crease of my eye. 
And then I'm gonna clean up under my eyebrows. some mascara and that's pretty much it for what I've been wearing as a makeup look. I don't know who I thought I was packing lashes um, but they did not get used. And I've just been doing a light layer on the outer corner. I don't know how this turned into a makeup tutorial anyway. Um, I'm fine. If you do this you're gonna be fine and I'm gonna go out now. Bye!